Huh. Well, I didn't expect this. I'm in the middle of Arkansas, and I want to show you something that happened back in the woods of this abandoned rest stop. I'm, I'm about an hour, I would say, outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, I think the town is actually called Moralton. Th this used to be a rest stop along I-40 westbound until around 2000, they closed it down because there was a murder here. So on August 25th in 2000, 25-year-old Kristen Lorite stopped at this rest stop. She was driving a 1970s VW bus that apparently started overheating. So she stopped here in the afternoon to uh, cool down the engine and also let her two dogs out to run around. She was traveling from New Jersey to California, I believe somewhere in the San Francisco area going out there to start a, a new life, had, had, had a new job set up. There was a pond nearby, and that's where the dogs were most likely running down and playing around. I think the pond is, is pretty much straight back there, which is actually on someone's farm. So maybe in 2000, this uh, it wasn't as wooded. Maybe there was a trail here. I don't know. This probably was one of those and probably one of the reasons why they closed it down it was just one of those dark lonely rest stops even the way it's designed it kind of is like a it sticks way into the woods a narrow strip and you know i don't even see any signs of any lights no poles or anything like that i'm assuming that it was just a very desolate rest stop that next morning, some truck drivers saw Kristen's two dogs running around the rest stop. And uh, they called the number on the tag and spoke to Kristen's mother, who assured them that Kristen would never let her dogs just run around like that, that something had to be wrong. And they called the police, and apparently the dogs led the police to Kristen's lifeless body. She was nude, she had been assaulted, and there was up to 10 stab wounds in her neck. I'm curious about, curious about this here. I don't know. Obviously there was something here, maybe picnic tables or something. Now this was a cold case for a lot of years in fact, her parents even put up big billboards along I-40 that there was saying that there was a reward for any information about their daughter. And I believe that Ronald James Ward was initially in prison for a murder that he did in Montana, but through DNA, he was actually convicted of murdering a total of three women and one man. He ended up killing some people in Arkansas, California, and then in Montana, he killed somebody. And he was actually in jail for that Montana murder when through DNA, he was convicted of, of killing Kristen Lorite. He claimed he did not remember even being at that rest stop. He said after a fight with his girlfriend, he left the house having consumed lots of alcohol, heroin, and cocaine, he most likely just happened to stop at this lonely rest stop with Kristen there as well. I believe that Ward was convicted in 2007 of murdering her, but believe it or not, in 2014, Ward died in prison and uh, a cause was never given. Obviously, I mean, this has been closed for qu 
quite some time. I mean, it's so overgrown, but obviously where the cement is, you're not gonna, <laughs> nothing's gonna grow there. Look, that trail goes straight down there. Look at it, can you see that? Straight down, probably, I don't know, maybe 50 feet, and then there's an opening. So I'm curious to see what that is. And you know, this is a great example of, even though there are hundreds of people passing by just over this hill, you're completely alone out here. So who knows? I mean, she could have been back here with her dogs. I don't know. Maybe there was, there were bathrooms or something here. I'm not seeing anything in the woods. And this is a walkway. You know, she could have been walking, walking her dogs on these trails, you know, just walking around herself just to get some exercise. I didn't know there would be this much back here. I thought it was, I mean, maybe to some of you it was boring just walking around in the woods, but just think about what happened that day to Kristen here. Now you might think it's crazy that they would close a rest stop just because of one murder, but I'm pretty sure another murder happened just a few years before that. A truck driver was found shot dead in the bathroom. And I believe that this was also kind of a magnet for drug use and drug trafficking, sex trafficking. It, it's just, like I said, it's just the way it's set up. It, it was just a, a, a very secluded rest stop, very poorly designed. You can see from the picture that I'm showing you right now, this is from 1983. This is really the clearest photo, aerial photo that I could find. At that point, the state just figured it was better to close this down. What a sad situation. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.